Hello, everyone! I'm Cymatix, and we're here for another episode of... Well, it's not quite another episode, but it's a new series, The Sunken City. So, I've heard, again, not much about this, except for the fact that it has something to do with Cthulhu again. So, I guess we should probably start sometime about now. Whoa! Hi, handsome. Is something already looking for me? Hey! Those were dear friends. You can't just kill them. Bro, what's going on? Nice crossfade. Oh, I'm on a boat. Uh, that's not normal. Um. Hey. I'd recommend staying on the ship. No, okay. Interesting. Coron ship. Sounds fun. Bro, the movement. Look at that. Look at this. So, not first person, but in third person. Not what I expected. Folding camera. A gun. Which I won't pick up. Letter from Javon Der Berg. Dear Mr. Charles Reed, as you requested, I've researched uh, the outbursts of hysteria and visions in the city of Oakmont, Mass. It turns out that your assumptions were correct. Such cases are indeed more frequent here. Men and women from across the country are drawn to Oakmont, haunted by visions similar to yours. A city drowning, the presence of something great yet unknown. As luck has it, I believe we have stumbled upon the source of your ailment, and the person who might help you with it. Prepare yourself, then come to Oakmont as soon as you can. I will meet you here to help you on your way. Cordially, uh, Johannes van der Berg. Frosty, welcome. I see. Never trust a tourist advertisement. Smart. If you trust the tourist advertisement, then how are you supposed to get anywhere? Whoa. Um. Is that supposed to happen? Um. Game? And I can't interact with this thing. Ah. Uh, no. If this is anything like the previous game, The Call of Cthulhu, everything matters. Take your belongings off my ship first. Again. Rude! If I, I can't, I can't, I can't open the bloody, ah. 
Have I been soft locked already? Never trust a tourist advertisement. So you know that thing where I'm bad at everything? It never occurred to me to hold down the button. So, here we are, as I've demonstrated that I can't hold down a button and see what happens. Never trust a tourist advertisement. I agree. What? Can I look at you? It says that I can, but I don't think I can. No! I think, hopefully now, I can leave, though. Take your belongings off my ship first. I did. Um. What, what do I... What do I need to take? Well, I guess it looks kind of spooky. Are you certain that I don't have all of my stuff off the ship? Take your belongings off my ship first. Take your belongings off my ship first. Bro, I have. Is the goal break everything in, in here? Break it! Break it good! I have a feeling that's not the goal. What? What? Hope I never have to use it. But something tells me I will. What? Okay. One moment. Why couldn't I take the gun beforehand? And he's just... He just knew. Now get out. Now get out! Don't mind me, I'm just a little dumb. Oh. At last, Mr. Charles Reed. What a pleasure to finally meet you in the flesh. Nice to meet you. Uh... Johannes Vanderberg, at your service. I did promise to meet you the moment you arrived. Ah, much obliged, Mr. Vanderberg. I guess I didn't expect you to mean so literally. Please call me Johannes. But where are my manners? Welcome to the proud city of Oakmont. Alas, now is not its finest hour, though it is its most important. Okay, any about my problem? No. What's the deal with this city? Nice suit. Nice suit! That's an eye-catching suit. Thank you, Mr. Reed. A mere flood is no excuse for one to abandon one's style. I take it you're a big fan of yellow. Well, I have a particular weakness for it. Call it a personal quirk. Interesting. You said you know someone who can help me with my problem. The visions have been getting worse. Such vividness of dreams is not uncommon here in Oakmont. By chance, the man I spoke of, Robert Throgmorton, is already at the port. He has dedicated a lot of time and effort to investigate this issue. Alas, I fear he has a more pressing matter on his hands. Interesting. How can I find Mr. Throgmorton? Don't worry, you can't miss him. Throgmorton tends to... <laughs> Stand out from the crowd. How do you mean that? Reaching Oakmont was no easy task. Most maps I found didn't mark it, and this rickety packet ship is the only one that sailed here. 
Why is that? Oakmont is no ordinary place. Its unique geographical position and the flood, a recent natural disaster, make it nigh impossible to reach. But you made it, Mr. Reed. I'm sure the tides of fate would have brought you here one way or another. I don't seem to trust that. I made a place to lay my head while I'm here. Any recommendations? Fair knock. I've already feathered a nest for you. There's a room in your name at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Here's the key. Sounds charming. Don't judge a book by its cover, Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. What's the best way to get around Oakmont? I'd like to drop my things at the hotel. Most locals go by foot. Or by boat. I've got the latter sorted for you. There's one waiting outside the port. Ah, you're too kind, Johannes. Can you steer me towards the Devil's Reef? Take this map. I've marked the hotel and a few other key places. Oh, so many things to be marked on map. How do you fill your days, Mr. Vanderberg? I host a philosophy club for the like-minded intelligentsia. Gathering seeds of thought like moths drawn to inflame. Does Oakmont really have much of a market for philosophy these days? There is no consciousness without pain, Mr. Reed. No better moment for clarity than times of hardship. Ah, oh, yes, clarity. Other places? Like what? You're a private eye, yes? Well, I've highlighted the police station, city archive, newspaper. Places you'll need to get to the truth. This city is insular, its ways mysterious. No one will take you by the hand, so you better know where to turn in search of a lead. Yeah, fair. That's it for now, I think. Uh, thanks for helping me get my bearings. No, no. The pleasure was mine, Mr. Reed. Oh, before you go, how can I get in touch with you later? Don't worry about that. I'm the kind of man who finds you. Suspiciously quickly, by the way. Don't, don't you worry. I'll find you. So, this place is also kind of dreary. Just a little. One moment. What? Hold on. What is this? What's this? Not suspicious at all? Picture worthy, maybe? Maybe not? What does the truth tell me? Nothing! Because the truth was never there in the first place. Okay, where do I need to go? I presume up this way. Oh, am I supposed to look at the map now? Something tells me I'm supposed to look at the map. There we go! Where am I? I'm there. What's this? Oakmont City Port. So, I've already been to the city port. Ah, yes, the harbor. What is this? Devil's Reef Hotel. I think that's where I needed to go. Oakmont Police Force, and I... I think this is a hospital. Yep, hospital. So, exactly which way am I facing? Oh. So, it's gonna take me a bit to get used to this. I don't care about your petty excuses. No one leaves the port until my son is found, and that is fine. Uh, <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Are you Robert Throgmorton? I am, but not interested. Go away. The name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator, just arrived from Boston. I was told you might be able to help me. Private investigator, you say? Well, perhaps we can help each other. Perhaps we can. If I may ask, what happened to your son? Why do you care? What's your angle, outsider? Well, like I said, I'm a P.I. Finding people is kind of my specialty. Is it? Well, Albert was part of a deep-sea expedition I commissioned. 
This useless fool over here says he found Albert washed ashore in a lifeboat. Says he was barely conscious, out of his mind, talking gibberish in some other language. Cthulhu! He even tried to bite him. And you don't believe him? Complete malarkey. I know my Albert. I raised him strong and smart, the best of his kind. It couldn't have been him. Albert's disappearance is the work of Innsmouthers. Mark my words. Fun. What do you know about my visions? Or just the visions? I've heard you're the man to speak to about visions. Outbreaks of hysteria. I'm trying to get to the bottom of it myself. Another newcomer with another problem. <laughs> yes, I know what you speak of. Can I ask you a few questions? How dare you. My son Albert is missing, and no one in this Innsmouth a ridden city will thing. But yes, let's talk about your dreams. <laughs> Who are the Innsmouthers? I take it you're not the biggest fan of these Innsmouthers. Those fish faced freaks have overrun this city since the police burned Innsmouth to the ground. But now, those filthy migrants occupy half this. City, the port, Grimhaven Bay, Salvation Harbor, the shells, they are everywhere. So they're just refugees? <laughs> Hardly. They've taken work from the local fishermen. They stir and agitate against us, the Throgmorton family. We are the pillar of this community, not to mention that crime rates have skyrocketed. Simply speaking, they are a big stinking pile of trouble. A big... um... Fine. Please forgive the question, but I've never met a man quite like you before. That's because no man measures up to the Throgmorton lineage. Proud and powerful blood flows through our veins. My father united with a certain royal family, which has blessed all our offspring with these exquisite features. Mr. Throgmorton, let me help you. I'm rather good at tracking down missing people. I'll find Albert. What makes you think you can do it? Oakmont is not exactly friendly to new arrivals. Let's just say I tend to see things that others miss. And anyway, what have you got to lose? Sounds like you could use every man you can get. Vera. You have a point, newcomer. Vera? Sorry, did you just say Vera? What does that mean? You had better get used to the Oakmont dialect, outsider. That is, if you want to fit in. It is a fascinating blend. Vera means fine. I was saying, we have a deal. I see. Thank you. But why... Why make another dialect for a specific place? Is it just to sound cool? Because it... I, yeah, I guess it sounds cool. I need to know more about what happened to Albert. Dane, did you not listen at all? I already told you everything. After leaving on the expedition... Albert was found on the shore in a lifeboat. This fisherman supposedly brought him to the house and then left to call me. But when I arrived here, my son was nowhere to be seen. Anything else? Clearly, something suspicious occurred inside the house. I suggest you stop dawdling and go see for yourself. So, uh, <laughs> where's the fisherman's house? Where's the house where this all happened? For Kay's sake, I thought you were a private eye. We're standing right in front of it. Heh. <laughs> you mentioned a lifeboat. Is it still around? Yes. Face the house, then to the left is a beach that borders a fence. You'll find it there. Interesting. As much as I'm enjoying the weather, Mr. Throgmorton, it's time for me to get started. Find my son, newcomer, and be quick about it. Fun. So that's the house. And yeah, that's the house. I should go in. Oh. Oh. So I'm very used to interactables. 
and interactables in which are just click of a button. This is run into the door and hopefully it'll open. Which I guess is fine. But honestly, not what I'm used to. Oh, cops? <laughs> Let's see what you find, newcomer. Yeah, I'll- It would take tremendous effort to move this thing, let alone tossing it over like this. Ooh. Yeah, I'll find something you don't know about. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Ah. Uh, oh, my head. What? Who are you? Are you police? I've already told them everything. It's okay. I'm Charles Reed, Private Eye. Mr. Throgmorton hired me to find his son. Oh, oh, okay. What do you want? I want to know what happened here. Every detail. I don't remember much. Me, Paul, and Lewis. We were here. This is our house. Barry was outside on his business. Then he came back carrying Thogmorton's son. He was unconscious, barely breathing. Barry left again to call Mr. Robert. Then what? We put the guy in Lewis's room. Then he started to make these horrible sounds and, okay, my head began to burst and he woke up. And after that, I don't remember a thing, just dreams. Drowned streets, a sleeping giant, a voice that called me, ah. Hmm. That sounds familiar. Interesting. Drowned streets and a sleeping giant. Is that is that a friend of mine? Tell me about yourself. Uh, name's Will. Will Hammond. Nice I'm to a meet fisherman. you. We all are. Live here together. Me, poor fellow Paul, Barry, and Innsmouth of Lewis Flynn. We moved here after the flood. I worked on the railroad, but the rail ain't kicking anymore, so I started fishing. It was out of starve. Fun. Where are all the other guys? Uh, that's Paul there on the floor. Kay be with him. Barry's outside with Mr. Throgmorton. Lucky rascal missed everything. And I have no idea what Lewis or Throgmorton's son got to. Starting to suspect the worst. It's likely that it is the worst. Who is this Kay you keep mentioning? Outsider, show some respect. Kay is our lord, our light, our love. Sorry, I didn't know. Do you know how Paul died? I don't know. When I pulled myself together, he was already gone. Kay, have mercy on his soul. I'll leave you to it. Take care of yourself, Will. Please, detective, sir, tell me the truth. Could it be me? Did I kill Paul? Or... Did I kill him? I don't know yet, Will. And the police will stop anyone coming in or out of here, so I suggest you just try and get some rest. I'm afraid of what I might dream. Yeah, please do be afraid of what you might dream. Because if this if this is true, you might dream some weird things. Choo choo. Ahem. <clears throat> choo choo. Is this where I came from? Yep. Certainly is. I can barely recognize the face of the poor fella. He was beaten to a pulp. Huh. Whoa! What? Whoa! What in the... What? What was that? I just looked at somebody. That was it. Anything over here? This sounds like the prime place to mind's eye or something like that. No. Something over here. No. Well, this gimmick sounds weird. And all but useless. What? Huh. Let's see what you find, newcomer. 
There was a fierce fight here, but someone tried to flee. Yeah. What? I'm surprised they don't have someone's portrait here. Oh, mine's eye. Who knew I'd be notified? Oh, whoa. What? Oh no, that don't look healthy. For more information. Mark the scenes in chronological order to gain new evidence. Oh! Never seen knives like this before. Master for work. Interesting. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. Common theme. Oh! Take this, ape face. <laughs> Fun. What's happening? Oh, I see. Yeah, run! Okay, let's see what we have here. Yeah, run! So, I have a feeling I know what happened first. This happened first. And then... <gasps> this obviously what? has to happen. Happen it! And Take then this this, ape face. Yeah, run! When Albert Throgmorton woke up, he was not himself. He attacked the fishermen, and his hysteria spread to them. When he got wounded, he fled. Who are you? Key evidence collected. Press for more information. So the game's trying to get me to click that. Never seen knives like the. But, huh. Mind Palace. I have something in the Mind Palace. Is something on the knife? No? Didn't care much. Mind Palace. What do I got in the Mind Palace? That's the inventory. Not quite a Mind Palace, but I guess a palace of my wallet. Whoa! What does this mean? Oh! Oh no. Five cards short of a full house. <laughs> Five cards? I think that's the hand. Maybe I'm missing something, but that, that don't seem right. No! What? I don't understand! Lewis shot without warning. Albert returned unstable. Albert attacked the fisherman. Albert threw... Uh, throw Mart behaved strangely after returning from the sea. He was mad, violent, and spoke gibberish. Albert Thromar was dangerous and possessed a threat or posed a threat to Lewis Flynn. Okay. Um, Albert fled when wounded. The Thromart and Insermouths are in an ongoing feud. One fisherman is missing. There were three fishermen in the house when Albert woke up, but I found only two of them. Where would the psychotic outbreak fit in? Lewis shot without warning when Albert Thromart 
became aggressive, Lewis and the Insurmouthers fishermen immediately started shooting at him. The throne murders and some authors are going are in an ongoing feud. Now, some authors are in an ongoing feud. The fishermen suffered a sudden psychotic outbreak after Albert Thromart gained consciousness. Albert Thromart behaved strangely. No. No. There we go. Albert returned unstable. Sudden psychotic outbreak. Albert Thromart spread some sort of psychotic influence which made everyone nearby suffer hysteria. What? And then Albert and the fisherman named Lewis fled the scene after the fight in the house. I can track them using my supernatural sense. Albert fled when wounded. I have info now. Fun. Do I go like out? Oh. Again, I forgot that I just run into doors. Oh, what's this? Oh. Fun. But I don't know what that means. What? Oh. The book is damp and damaged, but clearly well cared for. Fun. But I don't think anything's down here worth anything. Seems like prohibition hasn't affected Oakmont too much. No, it hasn't. Oh. So that's what an ends mouther looks like. I see. Well, Albert Thromorton fled from the fisherman house after he was wounded. So it's something that'll fit with that. Huh. This dog mat looks better than the owner's bed. Oh. What? So, again, I'm notified when things are done. Interesting. So, in that case, I can talk to someone. Don't do anything stupid, newcomer. Wasn't keep going your to. hands where I can see them. Sure. I've said everything I know. Yes, you have. I gave you clear instructions, did I not? Did you? I can't deduce anything. I don't know, but I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, if you're enjoying this, which I am currently wavering on. If you're enjoying my suffering, then hit the like button, I guess. And uh, subscribe if you want to. And uh, I guess goodbye. <laughs>